What's happening Reds? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I think it's fair to say there's going to be one topic of conversation in tonight's video and that is that El Itahad are looking to bring Mohamed Salah to Saudi Arabia this summer, eight days before the transfer window shuts. Um, it's been reported everywhere that they're interested but it's been quite, quite, you know, quite suddenly shot down on all fronts that Liverpool won't even entertain this business for a bit. So, uh, Romano said Liverpool have been clear with the Mohamed Salah to El Etihad. Uh, there's no intention to negotiate. He's considered not for sale. And then, obviously, uh, it goes on to say El Etihad. Astronomical, astronomical contract bid to Salah remains valid in attempt uh, to tempt Mo away. Now, don't get me wrong. That's all basically paper talk in a sense because obviously they all know that Mohamed Salah will be given a lot of money so a lot of people are running with that but he's he's going to accept it because it's so big okay right first of all nothing will happen if Liverpool don't allow it I don't think Mo Salah himself would burn bridges with Liverpool and Liverpool fans for obviously the career that he's had there um so yeah we're going to get into it anyway I want to talk about uh pros and cons well not not pros and cons more my thoughts Will Liverpool sell or keep? Uh, will Mohamed Salah want to leave or will he want to stay? Your thoughts on the pro on the process, whether it be now 12 months or at the end of his contract. But you know what? There's a lot of factors surrounding this um, that people may be getting a bit ahead of themselves over, maybe, you know, panicking in, in, in a sense, because just because he's being offered this money, there's a lot of reasons why Mo Salah isn't going to push for this, and we're going to get into them first. Um, firstly, as I mentioned, uh, briefly mentioned before, is obviously you know he, he's he's got a lot of obviously credit with Liverpool fans, Liverpool as a whole. I don't think he's going to burn those bridges uh, to force a move to Saudi Arabia, regardless of the amount of money. Worst case scenario, he turns around to Klopp and goes, "I want, I will go if you will allow it." If not, don't worry about it. I don't even think it's going to get that far. I don't think Mohamed Salah is going to turn around to Klopp and go, I want to leave if you're happy with it. Because then Klopp will be like, well, he's obviously had his head turned. He'll want to leave. And, you know, that's the only scenario I can see. But still, I don't think it's going obviously going to go that far. Now, Mohamed Salah is 31 years old. He hasn't shown any signs in the last, you know, 6 to 18 months. That is, you know, his ability, his, his pace, his fitness is dropping off. You know, there's no signs of it whatsoever. I think Mohamed Salah is still going to be the top of his game when he gets to 34, 35. Um, and then, you know, as long as obviously he's injury free, I still think he's got three or four good years ahead of him. So my thought process is there's two years left on his Liverpool contract. In 12 months time, when he's got one year left, he's still going to be getting... Well, from a Liverpool point of view and from a Hamad Salah's point of view, Liverpool is still going to be, let's just say, for instance, the fee was 150 million, just, you know, because people are saying 100, some people are saying 200. Let's just say the fee this summer from El Etihad was 150 million. 12 months down the line, when Mohamed's 32, still got a year left on his contract, that 150 million pound offer is still going to be there, whether it's from them or from another Saudi Arabia teams. In fact, Next transfer window, if other teams from the Saudi from Saudi Arabia know that Mohamed Salah may be moving, it's going to give them a lot of time to obviously plan. Because if you look at the way the window started, this team signing Jota from Celtic for twenty five million, Ruben Neves I think was about forty million, you know Fabinho forty million. There's these been these big fees, but then obviously as we've seen as time's gone on, Henderson one for instance, they didn't want to offer too much money for him. The Mohamed Salah one, if it is about a hundred million. Then you know, beginning of next transfer window, or the next summer's transfer window, those fees are still going to be there. So, from a Liverpool point of view, if they're wanting to cash in on Mohamed Salah for any reason, that you're still going to get that in twelve months' time. And in this twelve months' time, we're going to have Mohamed Salah to try and get us back into the Champions League football, and then we can cash in on it if you really wanted to. From Salah's point of view, exactly the same. If he's getting offered one and a half million pound a week. 12 months down the line, if he helps Liverpool get into the Champions League, other teams are going to be fighting for his signature, not just El Etihad, El Etihad, then they're going to be offering the same amount of wages. So there's no reason or rhyme why Liverpool should or Salah should consider at this moment in time to be leaving, uh, unless there's been a massive breakdown in communication between Klopp and Salah, which I don't think there has been. There's no reason why Liverpool should, uh, should be selling. And that also moves you on to the next point. In 12 months' time, when he's still got a year left on his contract, a few things can happen here. 
we could have a new contract. He may we may get back in the Champions League. His dream will be to play in the Champions Champions League over Saudi Arabia. I'm sure of that. I don't think Mohamed Salah is the type of person to put. Obviously, his financial gain before is obviously credentials. I think if you know, if you ever hear him, he always goes on about, I'm the best. I've got to believe I'm the best. Things that could happen, he could break a lot of Premier League goal scoring um, records over the next 12, 18, 24 months if he did re sign a new contract. Of course, a lot of things that can go his way. He's not going to win the Ballon d'Or if he goes to Saudi Arabia. If Liverpool were to get back into the Champions League next year, he was to have an unbelievable season. Klopp was to get a few more big signings. We go push again on all trophy fronts. We win the Champions League, the league, what have you. He's got more chance of winning the Ballon d'Or. I do think he cares about little things like that, if I'm being honest. So, you know, there's no suggestion why in 12 months' time, when all these wait, you know, these fees still come in for the Salah doesn't go, you know what, I want to stay. We're back in the Champions League. I want to stay in Liverpool, okay? So, even if he didn't, and Liverpool still didn't want to sell him, they could still make... They, well, I say they could still make him. They could still say to Sally, you've got 12 months left on your contract. At the end of it, you'll be 33. At the end of that contract, when he's a free agent and there's no fee involved, he's still going to get those big, massive wages. We've seen Benzema, 35. We've seen Ronaldo, 37. Mohamed Salah is in that bracket, whether you like it or not. So at the age of 33, someone's definitely going to give him a three-year contract. So... I know what people will say, well, he could go now or in 12 months and earn 1.5 million. He'll still only get a three-year contract, whether it's now or in two years. So what would you rather want? A three-year contract takes him to 33, 34, and then maybe, I don't know, he's fell off a little bit or they don't want to re-sign him or something like that. Or when you're at the peak of your powers at the age of 32, 33, coming off the end of your Liverpool contract, still go and get those wages for three years take it to 36. There's no reason why Mohamed Salah, at this point of his career, should be put in his finance before his, obviously, you know, personal gains. And for that reason, I just don't think, one, Liverpool will entertain anything now with only eight days in the window left. And also, Salah, if he's got a sensible head on, he knows that all that can still come well, well further down the line in the future. And, you know, with all that being said, I think it's quite obvious. I don't think, personally, that Liverpool will sell. I don't think Salah will push for a move. And then, as I say, 12 months down the line, I still think it's up in the air. He may be sold. So, obviously, to get, you know, for the money uh, to come in, you know, it'd be nice for Liverpool to obviously reinvest that. But if you have a look, there's not many right wingers uh, in world football that's going to come in and replace Mohamed Salah. If... The Ben Doak is to be the successor to Salah. The longer Salah stays, because he's obviously a, you know a tender age, the longer Mohamed Salah stays, the better for his development. And um, to obviously learn, obviously you know get get his body built like Mohamed Salah's. So say for instance, you know strength, conditioning, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, fitness. So the longer Salah stays, it's the best for him. But yeah, I just don't think you're going to replace them goals, even if Mohamed Salah does leave. Unless you convert a left winger like a, like Diaz uh, or Jota to the right wing, or even sign a left sided midfielder and say you're going to be playing right side, because Mane was right wing, wasn't he? And then came to Liverpool and they converted him into a left wing once we signed Salah. But um, yeah, to be honest, I just I don't I wouldn't be rushing us from a Liverpool point of view. And I wouldn't be rushing from Hamad Salah's point of view. Anyway, let me know down in the comments what you think. There's a lot of people panicking, um, suggesting how he's going. A lot of people saying he's going to go in 12 months. He may go in 12 months, but I still don't see why we should let him go in 12 months. If he doesn't turn around to Liverpool and go, I want to go and kick up a fuss and on, wants to honour his contract, he's still going to get that contract at the end of the day. That's just my personal, uh, personal uh, point of view. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think about this potential move. Uh, when you think it'll go ahead, when you'd actually want it to go ahead, would you want him to go now, reinvest the money now in January, or would you want him to go in 12 months, or would you want him to stay and hopefully extend uh, his contract because we get back into the Champions League, and things like that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, that's the video.